the unfolding narrative surrounding Prime Minister James Marapia's alleged involvement in directing payments to lawyer Paul Parraker's firm paints a troubling picture of potential impropriety within the highest echelons of leadership. Despite Marapia's assertions of intervening to cease the payment, the undeniable fact remains, his official letter directed the former Deputy Secretary of the Finance Department, Jacob Yafai, to release the payment to Parraker lawyers. This concrete evidence challenges Marapia's narrative, prompting doubts about the accuracy of his claims regarding the cancellation post facto. The existence of his official letter contradicts his denial of involvement, necessitating a thorough investigation to reconcile these conflicting accounts and uncover the truth behind the events. As scrutiny intensifies, it becomes increasingly evident that transparency and accountability are essential. The disparity between Marapia's statements and the documented evidence underscores the importance of upholding governance integrity. A diligent examination is imperative to preserve the credibility of our leadership and governance frameworks. Moreover, recent revelations by former Deputy Secretary of the Finance Department, Jacob Yafai, add complexity to the situation. Yafai implicated Marapi, then Finance Minister, along with former Treasurer Don Paulier, acting under the directives of former Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, in instructing him to remit payments to Parica lawyers. This damning testimony underscores the necessity of a comprehensive inquiry to uncover the truth. In a separate development, Parica's sentencing to 20 years in prison for misappropriating 162 million kina underscores the gravity of the situation. The severity of Parika's conviction emphasizes the importance of holding all accountable, regardless of their positions of authority. Given the gravity of the situation, it is imperative to prioritize the preservation of democracy and the restoration of trust in government. Therefore, it would be prudent for the Prime Minister to step aside temporarily, allowing due process to unfold unhindered. This measure would not only demonstrate a commitment to upholding democratic principles but also serve to rebuild trust in our governance structures.